What's up, gamers? It's Joystick News here, and today we're diving into something that hit me like a bolt of lightning from the retro gaming gods, Contra Operation Seagaluga. Now, if you're like me, you've got a history with Contra. We've dodged bullets, leaped over pitfalls, and blasted away at alien scum across every console from the NES to the PlayStation 2. So when I heard about this new reimagining from WayForward and Konami, you bet I was all in skeptical, but definitely in. Contra and me. A love story. Let's set the stage. Contra has been my jam since I could hold a controller. This series is more than just games to me. It's a piece of my childhood. So when Contra seemed to fade into the background, replaced by collections, and let's be honest, some questionable mobile games, my heart ached for the glory days. But then BAM! Contra Operation C Galuga drops, and suddenly, there's a spark of hope. The demo drops, and my expectations skyrocket. Fast forward to the demo release, and there I am, downloading it onto every platform I own. I'm trying to keep my expectations in check, but inside, I'm like a kid on Christmas Eve. And let me tell you, diving into that demo was like stepping into a time machine and blasting off to the best parts of my gaming past, but with all the polish and shine of modern tech. What's old is new again, and it's brilliant. This isn't just a rehash, it's a love letter to everything that made Contra legendary. The demo blends elements from the classic levels with new twists that had me at the edge of my seat. Climbing walls, battling upgraded bosses, and that seamless transition to a vertical level, it's all there, and it's all awesome. And that boss fight, pure adrenaline. Characters, modes, and upgrades, oh my. Now, let's talk characters. We've got the Augs, Bill and Lance, looking buffer than ever, alongside some fresh faces and even robotic allies, bringing new dynamics to the gameplay. Plus, the addition of story and arcade modes, health systems, and perks. It's like WayForward peeked into my brain and said, let's give Keith exactly what he's been missing. Weapons worth wielding. The arsenal. Oh, the arsenal. Every beloved weapon is back, and then some. And this new overload feature. Genius. It adds a layer of strategy that elevates the run and gun action to new heights. Deciding whether to blast everything with a spread shot overload or save it for a clutch moment adds a delicious layer of tactical decision making. Responsive controls seal the deal. Controls can make or break a Contra game, and thankfully, they nailed it. Smooth, responsive, and customizable, whether you're playing on PC or console. The 360 degree aim, a godsend. It's like WayForward knew exactly how to blend nostalgia with modern convenience. Contra is back, and it's glorious. So, is Contra back? After diving deep into this demo, I'm not just hopeful, I'm convinced. Contra Operation C Galuga isn't just a reboot, it's a resurrection. WayForward and Konami have managed to capture the soul of Contra and inject it with just the right dose of modern flair. Closing thoughts, a gamer's dream realized. As we count down the days to the full release, I'm over here trying to calm my racing heart. Contra Operation C Galuga has done the impossible. It's taken a series I thought was lost to time and transformed it into something I'm genuinely excited for. It feels like coming home after a long journey, only to find that home has had one heck of an upgrade. So, to all my fellow gamers, if you haven't checked out the demo yet, what are you waiting for? This isn't just another game, it's a milestone. And come March 12, 2024, you can bet I'll be there, controller in hand, ready to relive the glory days and make some new memories. Alright, that's it from me, Keith Mitchell. If you're as pumped for Contra Operation C Galuga as I am, hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's get ready to dive back into the action. Until next time, keep gaming and never forget, no matter how tough the level, there's always a way through. Peace!